Annie is back. I have been waiting like half of this series for Annie to friggin' come back. And here she is, the very last scene of the last episode of AOT. Aaron did the unhardening, which means that Reiner lost all of his his armor, which also means that Annie lost her crystallization, which thawed her out, hence the title Thaw. I'm so excited! That's the only thing I'm going to say about this. For today's video, we are watching AOT episode 82, Sunset. I assume the sun's going to be setting while all the titans are walking out and it's going to be very beautiful. It's going to be magical or something really atrocious. I don't know what it's going to mean. We're going to get into this. I'm so excited for this episode. I have been waiting for this forever. So let's get into this. If you guys are interested in what, sorry, I got, I got look at your face right now. <laughs> I was ready to fight or something. If you guys are interested in watching my full uncut reaction, be sure to check out my Patreon. I will be linking that down below in the description for those of you who are interested in checking that out. Without further ado, let's continue Attack on Titan, final season, episode 82, Sunset. If I love Yup, 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 they do the stompies. They are rummaging around. <laughs> so they're all going to hate him as a result. <gasps> right, the walls falling would crush people. I didn't even think about that. Oh, so they- everybody knows what's going on. Okay, gotcha. I mean, I know with the- the message, that's what he was trying to say. But I feel like people don't understand the gravity of what's going on. But I'm glad to see that we do under- they do understand it. It's crazy to see how much Hitch has matured. She is a completely different character. I didn't like her in the very beginning because she was very, like, prissy and just like, I'm better than everybody. But look at her. She has stepped up to the plate. She has matured so much. She's become this, like, authoritative figure. I love it. Oh, she wanted to freshen up. She's in the bathroom. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> She needs to know everything in it. <laughs> She's like, Annie, I am not effing around with you. <laughs> oh my god, you have to roast her? Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh no, she got you, Hitch. <laughs> and it, I just found it to be so funny. She's so right. Out of everyone, it's you, Hitch. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Huh? <laughs> she heard everything? <gasps> yeah, she was. So she's already up to speed on everything. So nothing comes as a surprise. That's kind of a bummer. I mean, do you hear him outside? That's a disgusting thing to teach a child. And you guys failed. They're like next to the sewers and stuff. They didn't live well. That's why she was so tough. <gasps> she was never her own person. She was always treated like absolute garbage. Just a pawn for him to use for a better life. All of that just to get a better life? This makes a lot of sense why Annie is the way she is. I wonder why his heart changed. The one time he was soft to you. 
she's realizing empathy? Everyone does things for their own selfish reasons. I like that we got to know Annie a bit better. No decision I feel anyone makes is justified or okay. All of the other people don't even know about it. What? Okay, just call the other zones. Just call them. Just call them. That's all you gotta do to, to fix all of this. <laughs> To be he wants to see his daughter again. Is there a lot worse than you think? I didn't know that he could take them, but he purposely chose not to. Decision has so much thought behind it. I love it. I imagine everybody feels that way. It's not gonna work. I think him and Connie are gonna have to fight or something. But I understand he needs to gain Gabby on their side to earn the others. He has so much on his mind! I feel like he's gonna have a breakdown. That's a heavy thing to say and then walk out on. I don't know how, because I feel like it's been like half a day. Connie has half a day on him. And he's, he was moving. They're kind of taking their time. Oh, but I think he's only running. They got horses. That. She's so forward. She's like, I'm gonna call you Mia instead. Flock is really trying his hardest to be an authoritative figure. Flock, you need to chill. He's also the one with the gut. Really okay. I don't know. Flock is stepping over the line hard. He's like, I'm gonna call you Mia instead. Flock is stepping over the line hard. Okay, Flock, you are out of line. He's sick. He's gross. I didn't think he was going to be this bad. What kind of person do you have to be to, to enjoy a situation like this? Because, please drop kick this man. So he has this ideal, but he doesn't care what he has to do to get there. No, they weren't. He's alive and he doesn't even know what's about to happen. He just wants to save his mother. He visited her so often in course of years. You are about to lose your life, my friend. Something really bad is about to go down, I feel it. <laughs> okay, Levi's okay. He's, he's in bad condition, but he's okay. He's alive at least. That made me really anxious this whole episode. I need to take a breather. Gotta take this all in. So I feel like this episode really um, focused on perspective. We got to see stuff from Annie's perspective. We got to see stuff from Hitch's perspective, which I thought was really funny that the one to find Annie would be Hitch. <laughs> like, I thought that was hilarious. But then we also got to see what's going on with Armin. He basically compares himself to Commander Irvin all the time. And so he's kind of like, I need to be thinking about everyone all at once. 
at the same time figuring everyone else's stuff out and he's overwhelming himself like commander Irvin, he had years and years and years of experience and practice the situations are completely different he can't even begin to compare himself to how Irvin was i don't see this ending well and i think that last like sequence with connie and falco and like the sunset also now i know why it was sunset because it's like the sunset's in a different direction i gotta go south all that stuff but i also feel like it was kind of like a realization of what's going to happen it's not looking good so and then after this i think we're down to our final five episodes dude oh my god okay crazy if I okay also i'm wearing a blankie because i'm cold <laughs> Oh, it's because it's her own men and she has to kill them. Must be heartbroken. All of this to protect Levi. She even did a massive stitching job. It looks like surgery. She did so well. And then they both experience this. You see that, Levi? He's able to talk? Sit up. It's only been a half a day. This is very soon after. <gasps> His hand! I'm sorry, but the peak, the car titan, just a super little grin. It just threw me off. その始祖の巨人はご覧になられましたか。どうにもできなさそうなことは分かって。Oh, okay. Ooh, we're joining forces now. I don't know how Connie doesn't feel guilt to sacrifice a child. That's gonna be hard. He's tough. He's a tough cookie. Not only that, but he's a tough cookie. You're gonna have to, like, incapacitate him and then throw him down your mom's throat. Yeah. He would have really listened to Sasha. It's my mom. Prepare to get eaten by her. No! Falco knows. She's been alive all of this time. Alright, Falco, pop in. Oh my god, he knows. He's aware. There's no way he's gonna try and lure him to brush the titan's teeth. And he's gonna shove him in. Oh, and he's being friendly. He's just... <gasps> he's trying to trick him. No! 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 Yeah, about that. I'm surprised he's not fighting back. Oh, well, he can't fight back. There's well, he can. What? <gasps> what are you do- Armin, what the hell are you gonna do? He sacrificed himself. She was ready to eat him. He was like, no, 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 I value you too much. Okay, this ended up in a much better situation than I thought it would be. I thought it would be way worse. So she just gonna be left there? So smart. And Mikasa can just walk away from me. I just like this person is about to die. I would still give them that respect. You know, with them being someone, with you being someone they admire. Oh, shut up, man. 
So much life and color here. That's a lot of pie. What are you eating? With just pie? <laughs> Is that Annie? <laughs> Oh my god, okay, let's talk. It's <laughs> actually so funny. She knew who she was sitting next to. This is so funny. She knew where she was, who she was sitting next to. And she abandoned Hitch with a full time. Sayonara. Who do we give it to? I think Hitch like low-key liked Annie's company. Every single decision that is made in this show right now, it feels horrible. They're savages. We wanted them to live, but they just turned into savages. He's loyal to his homeland. That's the first thing he cares about. <gasps> no! There's n Huh? <laughs> no! I swear if Shaw gets eaten, I'm gonna- I'm gonna cry. No! 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 Oh! <sighs> it's a plan, don't worry. Okay, it's a plan. I get them away. I was wondering. I was like, no, that's a signal. But then I totally forgot that they can just keep them in their mouth. I thought they were just gonna eat them. It's crazy to see the area with any walls. I'm sorry, that was- that's the most intense look ever. Well, Kina- You gotta kick Reiner in the head to wake him up? Honey. <laughs> yup. What's good? Ooh. We're gonna save the world, okay. The plan came together beautifully. Wow, okay. Or so one thing that I realized that this episode had me come to some epiphany was the tables have turned back and forth. So we started off with the people on the island and we were always on their side, right? We always like, we cared about them, we loved them, we wanted only what was right for them. And when we saw Marley, we saw them as like, they are the devils, they are the ones committing these atrocities. But now that the island has the power. Now they are the ones that are acting like savages. There's no side that wins. Everyone is guilty in this show. And the only saving grace is that our favorites over here are like trying to do something about it. They have a plan. I don't think I've ever had a show do that so beautifully. It really makes you realize that not a single person is free from guilt in this show. This whole show is open to interpretation based off of what you personally believe is right and man is it like intense i've never had a show that made me feel so conflicted this is a wild ride and then we only have four episodes left so we're gonna see how the rest of the show unravels thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed please let me know your thoughts down below and i will see you guys in the next video bye everyone